Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Des with another video again. And this is just kind of response to B. Craig 5 because for some reason he just doesn't get it. I don't want any other people to get confused by his uh, lack of understanding. Uh, our entire conversation was about the, uh, the has God ever ordered Christians to kill? I simply said no. I said you would never find that in the Bible where God or Jesus or you know any of the prophets uh, told Christians to go out here and kill. So he said, yes, yes, God has told Christians to kill. Okay, I told him, show me the Bible where God ordered uh, Christians to kill, and I'll, I'll believe you. What he did was, he showed me back in the Old Testament where God ordered the Israelites to go to work with these different nations, and that was, that was already, like, end of story right there. Um, I was like, okay, where do you see Christians in that? Uh, this, the Old Testament was given to the Jewish people. Uh, it was given to them, uh, you know, it was like progressing from where they were to, you know, Jesus Christ and, you know, him saving, saving the world uh, through his crucifixion and such. Um, now, like these people who were, uh, you know, massacred, you know, uh, destroyed by God, um, what, was the reason, what was the reason for that? Well, if you read each and every one of those times, uh, God had warned those people there, uh, but what would happen was is that they defied God. They chose their uh, judgment. They chose to uh, fight against God. And when somebody fights against God, they have no chance of winning. What God did was uh, right, and He uh, He He did uh, judgment on these people. Uh, they do they do the consequences of defying God. I mean, they just chose to go the other way. And whose whose fault was that? I mean, that was uh, these people. Uh, these people chose to uh, worship other idols. They chose to. Uh, reject God, they chose to uh, try to uh, make these uh, the, the Jewish people stumble when, you know, Jesus Christ has to come through these people in order to save the world and in a bigger picture, I mean, who, what's more important, saving the world or sparing wicked people? I'd say saving the world. Uh, I mean, millions and millions of people have, I mean, billions of people have come to Christ, you know, throughout the centuries. And this was just because of the actions of, uh, you know, these events, you know. But, get back to the point here. I mean, Craig, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. I never said that uh, God never ordered people to kill. What I said was God never ordered Christians to kill. You know, he never ordered me to kill. He never ordered Middle Fang X to kill. He never ordered Gear Up to kill. He never ordered uh, these churches out here to go bomb up abortion clinics. He never, you know, ordered any of this to uh, go on. What he told Christians to do is go out here, witness in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in love, so that, excuse me, that they will have a chance to, you know, be with Christ uh, forever. All they have to do is accept. You know, they know the truth. Now all they have to do is accept the truth. Uh, I mean, we all, I mean, I was talking to somebody else about that too. I mean, for some reason, this guy just does not get it. I mean, like the, the Crusades, for example. God never, again, God never ordered Christians to go out here and kill these uh, unbelievers. You know, uh, hang on one minute. Okay, and you know, as far as the Crusades are concerned, Israel belongs to the Jews. I mean, that was the whole that was the whole point of the Old Testament. I mean, that was the whole point of the covenant to Abraham and all that is that that land. It belongs to the Jews. He gave that to the Jews. I mean, that was uh, God's promise to these people. Um, I mean, Christians, that's not our land. You know, that that's their fight. That's not our fight. Our fight is a spiritual one. If you look in uh, uh, Ephesians uh, 6.12, for example, uh, I have it on my uh, channel where it talks about, uh, is that our fight, well, let me read it here real quick. Uh... For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in the high places. That is what a Christian fights for. You know, that is our fight. You know, anyone who's a Christian is not a fight against flesh and blood. Do I need to repeat? Let me repeat this one more time. Ephesians 6.12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. What does it tell you that Christians have to go out here and kill people? No, that's not what it's saying. Our fight is against Satan and his demons, not against uh, unbelievers who 
or you know, are blinded by the devil. It's not. This is not. They're that. They're not our problem. Satan is. Um, Craig. I mean, I don't know what's wrong, man. Maybe you just don't want to. Maybe you're just trying to troll. I mean, I understand that. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of trolls on uh, YouTube. I mean, they just go around, start messing with people. And, you know, I'm just a new Christian up on here. Well, I'm not a new Christian, but I'm a new Christian uh, appearing on Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, YouTube, my fault. And um, I guess you're just trying to push my buttons to see what, see if you can just make me go away. I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. Um, yeah, but that's that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Just try to get that out, out of the air, you know. It's just, it's just kind of ridiculous how people can, can just totally ignore what you say and just put your put their own words. I mean, just continue, just continue. I mean, it's just annoying, really. But uh, there, that's all I want to say. Uh, peace out, YouTube. Right.